And welcome back guys, GVids here. If you guys are new around here, uh, make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any future updates. And we have one for Watch Dogs Legion. Now this is 1.14, it's available to download, it's about 10.4 gigabytes depending on the platform that you are on. But let's just get right on into it because there's a fair amount of stuff. Oh, uh, starting with additional fixes for missing masks. Player had reporting after TU.30. Masks should be available in the wardrobe after the update is live. Uh, they fixed an issue that could cause the recruit a operative. Um, objective to correctly update during the online mode onboard mission, causing players to be unable to complete the mission. They fixed an issue that could prevent players from recruiting an additional operative with the team is full message during the online mode onboard missioning, making it impossible to complete. They fixed an issue that allow en enemy NPCs to target and shoot players through the floor. They fixed an issue that could cause an infinite loading screen when trying to join another Spiderbot arena match after finishing a match and rejoining via leaderboard screen. They fixed an issue that could cause players to lose control control over the camera after joining a new spider bot arena match when joining via the leaderboard screen. They fixed an issue that caused the text to chat not properly work on PlayStation systems. Text chat has been re-enabled. Uh, for the PS5, they fixed an issue that could cause the game to crash when launching the PS4 backwards compatible version of Watch Dogs Legion. They fixed an issue that could cause the game to crash when leaving a Spiderbot Arena match and joining a public free roam session. They fixed an issue that could cause the game to crash when disconnecting from Spiderbot Arena match. They fixed an issue that could cause text to voice chat option not to work. And they fixed an issue that could cause the game to crash during combat or while driving. And for the Xbox Series X S, they fixed an issue that could cause the game to crash when disconnecting from a Spiderbot Arena match. And that is all that we have so far in the patch notes, guys. If there's anything else that you've noticed, definitely add it within the comments there. And I really do hope you find these things informative. I do like to throw these videos out there so you guys are aware that there is an actual download for the game and what it may contain. Anyways, guys, like I said, I hope you did find it informative and enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you do share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.